All right, guys, moving on to another type of actions, we have the sets. As we learned before, previously in the sets, it can split your data into two groups, the in-group and the out-group. So now the one who is creating the dashboard or the worksheets gonna define which member is gonna be in and which member is gonna be out. But in order to make your visuals more interactive, we can give these options to the users so they can define which member is gonna be in and which member is gonna be out. And in order to do that, we're gonna go and create action sets. So first, let's create a view and the sets. In order to do that, we're gonna stay with the big data source. Let's take the sales to the columns, the profit to the rows, and here in the middle, we're gonna go and get the customer ID. So with that, we got like data points, but we still don't have any sets. But first, let's go and make those points a little bit bigger in order to understand the members. And then I'm just gonna go and change the shape as well to be filled circles. So now that's it. Let's go now and create a set. In order to do that, I'm just gonna go and select those top right customers. And then we go over here and then we say create sets. All right, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And with that, we got on the data pane a new dimensions for the sets. So now we're gonna go and add it to our view as a colors. So let's go and move it to the colors over here. So as you can see, the blue gonna be the in and the out gonna be grayed out. I'm just gonna change those coloring. So let's go to the colors and the in gonna be, let's say the green and the out gonna be the red. Let's go and hit apply and okay. And now as you can see, the one who is creating this view is deciding which members are in and which members are out. But now let's go and give these options to the users. In order to do that, we're gonna go and create an action set. As usual, we're gonna go to the main menu, to the worksheets. Let's go to actions and let's add a new action. This time we're gonna use change set values. Let's go inside. And here we have the usual stuff. We have the source, what can I trigger the action and the target. Let's first give it a name. So change customer ID set. And then we're gonna go and define the source sheet. So it's gonna be the action set that we have it. And then we have to define the action. I'm just gonna leave it as select. The target gonna be the target set. So in order to do that, we have to click over here and then we will get here all the sets that we have inside our data source. In this example, we have only one set inside the big data source. So we have it over here, customer ID sets. So let's go and click on that. And now here we have more options about the sets. The left one gonna be what can happen to the set once the users start interacting or selecting data points. And on the right side here, we have options about what can happen once the users clear the selection, once the user deselects stuff in the visualizations. So now in order to understand those options, we have to play around with those values. So on the right side, I'm just gonna say keep set values. So if I deselect anything in the view, nothing can happen. And now in this left group, we have assign values to set, add values to set, and remove values to set. We're gonna start with the first one. So once the action is triggered, we're gonna assign values to sets. What this means, if you choose this one, what tab we're gonna do, we're gonna empty the in group and anything that you are selecting gonna be the members of the in group. So let's see what this means. Let's go and hit OK and then again OK. Again, here we have to select in order to trigger the action. And as you can see, we have those members are inside the group. So now let's say that I would like to select those four members over here. So once I start selecting those members, what can happen? Only those members gonna be in the in group. So as you can see, those points are now out. So that means Tableau is removing everything and starting from scratch and anything that you are selecting gonna be the only members of the in group so that's it for this option the selection gonna define the members of the in group let's go and change it to the second option so let's go to our action the change customer id so now let's move to this one. It says add values to sets. So what can happen this time? Tableau will not forget previously which members were inside the in group. Now we are just adding new members to the sets. So let's see how this works. Let's go and hit OK and again OK. So now currently we have those four members in the group. And let's say that I would like to add two new members. So let's say that I would like to add those two members over here. So let's go and select them. So with that, you can see we still have those members in. We just have added two new members. So that's it. It's really simple, right? Let's go and try the last one. Let's go to the action and as well to the customer change ID. This one, we're going to say remove values from sets. So now what can happen? It's going to be exactly like adding new members to the sets. But this time, anything that you are selecting 
it can remove those members from the sets. So let's go and try that out. Let's go and hit OK and again OK. Let's say that I would like to remove this member from the in group and move it to the out group. In order to do that, let's go and just select it and click on it. So as you can see now, it's red and it is not anymore in the in group. So that's it. So this is about what can happen once we trigger the action. But now let's learn about what can happen once we start deselecting the action. So let's go to the actions over here and go back to our set action. So on the right side, we have here three options, keep set values, add all values to set, remove all values to sets. And so far we have always worked with the keep set values. So that means if you clear the selections, nothing gonna happen. The members that you have defined with your selections gonna stay in the group, but the other two is gonna like destroy your definitions. So let's say that add all values to sets. So if you deselect, it's gonna add all values to the in group. So this option means if you deselect everything gonna be in and exactly the opposite we have remove all values from set so if you deselect everything gonna be out so let's go and select this one add all values to set and try this out so now currently we have those five members in the group and the rest is out and i'm like interacting with our reports and i select this point to be removed from the out group so now once i deselect or clear my selection what can happen all the members gonna be in the group and the other option can be exactly the opposite if i deselect everything gonna be red and gonna be out all right guys so that's all for the set actions as you can see it's a really nice feature where you're gonna give the users the freedom to choose which members gonna be in which members gonna be out in order for them to do focus analysis instead of us the one that is creating the dashboards so it really adds more dynamic and more interactive to your views all right so that's all about the action sets and next we're gonna learn the last type how to use Use actions in order to change the values of the parameters.